crews working on a huge water main break finally got to the five foot pipe today. That's going to help them move forward and get on the road once again, but that could take months before that road is back open. And confusion over what's closed and what isn't is already costing business owners. Here's Tessa Dottiero with more on that. Take a look at the signs on Riverside Drive with me. First, road closed to through traffic. A lot of drivers are simply just turning around at this point. This year shows that trucks aren't allowed to pass through and some of the businesses say this is affecting their deliveries. The sign does point out where the road is open to, but if you come over here where pedestrians are, it says the bike path is closed. A business owner I talked to tonight says he understands why these signs have to be here, but he says it's affecting his business. Saints and Sinners Tavern opened in October. We stretched it as far as we could possibly go and we were trying to wait out COVID and, you know, but we had to open. We had no choice. The restaurant and bar is serving people food inside and out, but not without its challenges during the pandemic. Now they have another big issue. We're being told by people we, we're not coming because we can't get there. We, we don't know where it is. We don't, you know, we don't know how to get, you know, the sign says closed, don't come down. This water main break is a half mile from the tavern. It shut down the road on Saturday. This is also one of the most heavily traveled bike routes in the city. It's, I think it's the most. And so it's cut that traffic way back. People would stop in here all the time. This map shows traffic is allowed on Riverside Drive west of Collins, east of Lumber. The portion of Riverside Drive outside of Saints and Sinners is open and completely drivable. Christopher Rose says people don't know that and it's hurting business. Between those much needed funds that we needed to stay viable and now this, it, we're just getting kicked in the butt, like left and right. Rose hopes people drive around the signs this weekend and to his tavern. Most of the people around there do kind of know, but they just think that we're shut down. You know, so I'm here to say that we're, we're not shut down. I spoke with Greater Cincinnati Waterworks tonight and they tell me in the next few days they're going to add something very specific to these signs. It's going to be a clear explanation that traffic can pass to and from the open businesses on Riverside Drive. For now, downtown, Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. Good, hopefully that will clear things up. I live in the area. It's actually easy to get around right now.